So as a lot of you already know, I recently uploaded a video about my depression and my anxiety and how after two decades of dealing with it, I finally felt like I was finding happiness, but it still breaks my heart at the thought of how many thousands and thousands of people, millions of people are out there dealing with depression, anxiety, and so many other mental illnesses and don't know where to go for help. And sometimes, scared to even ask for that help. And I wanted to use this platform to raise awareness, to call attention to the fact that it's okay to ask for help and talk about how you can get that help. So I reached out to all of you as a call to action. I told you I was doing a live stream and I wanted to raise as much money as possible, but I picked four foundations, each of which tackled mental health, depression, suicide, so many different things in so many different ways, researching into it, learning about it, learning how to treat it, and then even directly helping the people suffering. The number I had in my head was 4,000. I wanted to raise 1,000 for each charity. I thought that would be huge. I was a little concerned that maybe we wouldn't get there, maybe it would be a push and I'd be streaming for a long time because I wasn't gonna stop until we hit at least that 4,000. I went through this 30 minute monologue I was giving and I wasn't even looking at what was going on, the donations, the comments, all of that, I couldn't see. And then when I stopped that monologue and I took a look at the screen, I found out that we had raised the $4,000 in the first 12 minutes. And then we passed $10,000 in just over half an hour. And throughout the next 12 hours on that live stream, we raised $42,000 for those charities. And I am so proud of all of you and so thankful for all of you. And together, we not only raised this money, but we raised so much awareness. And we told thousands of people that you are not alone and it's okay to ask for help. So once again, Thank you. You should all be very proud of yourselves because I am very proud of you. But now, as we move into the next chapter of this, Kim has something that she would like to say. <laughs> uh, you want to talk about some video games? I would love to talk about some video games. All right, see ya. <laughs> no, okay, you can stay. I've had this video idea for like months now. These games have been stacked up in my game room waiting for me to make this, but I didn't know how I was gonna make it entertaining and interesting at all. And then I thought, you know what I'll do? K Kim. Maybe rephrase, but yeah. Essentially, I love getting stuff with my games, especially when it's a surprise. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you buy a game in a store, you head home, you open it up, and then you're like, oh, I didn't expect to find this thing inside. That like never happens anymore. You know, back in the old days, there was always something that came in games. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, everyone does. Unless you're too young to remember. And honestly, I don't remember the last time I opened a PlayStation game, an Xbox game, and there was anything inside at all. But for a lot of these Switch games, especially Nykala Switch games, shout out to Nykala, not a sponsor, they almost always come with something fun, unique, and different inside. So I thought I would bring Kim into the video and we could dive into some of the games that come with something and we can see if they're actually good some things or why the heck did you put that in there in the first place. So these are all the games. These are all the games? These are all the games. This is it, huh? Yes. You don't got, you don't, okay. You wanna go get more games? <laughs> what are you, you don't think this is enough? Nah, I feel like we need like maybe three or four or something. Okay, let's go see if we can find more, I guess. I fell asleep. See, now look at you clamming up like a clam. Me? Yeah. I'm not clamming up. Clam me. As soon as I said action, you went me. I don't know what to say. We're going uh -huh. to uh, GameStop. Not the one we usually go to. Could no, because I, I messed up and I asked permission. And apparently, you're supposed to ask for forgiveness, not permission. So they said no. So we're going to have to sneaky yeah. film at a different GameStop. But we're looking for any Switch games that I don't already currently own that have some kind of goodness going on inside like a manual or keychains or, or stickers or peanut butter filling or, or, peanut butter filling or yeah. I what 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 do you want From the game what, no out of like, life what do you life? what do you want more in general more cats i'm kind of like fingers crossed hoping for something imagine if i had my finger like this the whole time when I was doing but why would you do that all right we're at the first game so we're going to go in now can't take the camera got to use our phones okay bye 
So we found Valkyria 4 was the only one we made them go through because we realized there's kind of a <laughs> mistake in what we're doing here. All the games are empty. They don't leave it on the shelf, so we don't know which of these games come with anything. So we had to ask, and this was the only one they had that I didn't already have. It comes with a, well, you'll have to wait and see, I guess. Because I saw a picture of him on Reddit holding a balloon, so I kind of want to give him a balloon. But he hasn't got a balloon. I like burped while talking. <laughs> look, that dog's holding his own leash. Oh my god, look at him. He's walking himself. Oh, <laughs> what a nice what a fella. Good boy. <laughs> anyway, I don't like this GameStop at all, but it was the closest one to the other GameStop. They're always really busy, and they don't have nothing. They're so gross. Look at these soggy strawberries. I know. Why do you think it, I leave them in the it bottom? It looks like someone like bit off a chunk of their tongue, and I'm about to ingest it. Oh, they're not good. Look! It's my favorite game! Best Buy near me. Uh, there's a Best Buy six minutes away. These guys are open... till a time. Their games are sealed. I like your buns. What are you doing? What are you doing is a better question. This isn't on the list of to do. It's on my list of to do. Some dude farted over there. No wait. Yeah, it does stink over there right now. <laughs> It's kind of odd because they put them in cases, so not only can I not really tell the weight difference, but it's kind of hard to look in and see. Oh yeah, that has something. Okay. That has like a manual or something, but it's like, it's dark in there. I'm gonna get them to open the cases for these so I can see if there's actually anything inside them. All right, so we got Mercenary Saga. I want to find out right now if it's got anything in there or if this was for nothing. I ain't gonna show you what's in there if there is. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise, but... How? I swear I saw something in there. You got gut. I saw something in there. I think all you saw was hope. Hopes and dreams. As I try and scramble to get some kind of video idea that I haven't done before already. Well, let's check Home Depot. I'm pretty sure Home Depot has nothing you need. Yeah, but you want to get a shelf. Yes. And they close true. soon. Home Depot, everyone? You want to go get a shelf? We'll make it fun. <laughs> What's going on? I spent $45 on a game I didn't need to buy. I'm really thirsty. Yeah, me too. You want to get Bahama Bucks? It's, 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 it's like Starbucks. It's like the ice, it's like the, um, it's like the, uh, it's like the, uh. You got your little umbrella there. Oh no, 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 no. What? You know how long it took to get these symmetrical? You know how long it took me to not give a crap? Mm. About three seconds. <laughs> what? And I know it's sugar free because it has that weird sugar free aftertaste that I really don't like. Can't relate. I can't relate. Isn't that a song? Mm. I swear, I, I swear there's a song that goes, Can't relate! I don't know if Am is. I making that up? Yeah. No, oh, I feel like there's a song that goes, I can't relate! I swear that's That's like a you're thing. just saying my name in a weird I accent. I swear that. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly! I'm sorry, who has hairy toes and is sitting in this car right now? That'd be you, buddy. Look like you're gonna drop a ring in a mountain. <sighs> Home Depot, my natural habitat. I love going into hardware stores, working on some projects. Just don't let me, if if I walk out of here with more drills, more tools, more planks of wood to build stuff, you just, you have to stop me today, okay? Seven, not a six. Yeah, seven, not a six. Story of my life. What? What? What did you just say? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a, uh, a sturdy piece of timber right here. I actually, I built a bed out of this one, uh, the planks to put down. It's actually, uh, this wood typically it comes from um, trees. Uh, tr trees. I don't want to objectify you or anything, but your your nipples are very pronounced in this video. I get really, really <laughs> nipple hard around wood. <laughs> I think we're gonna take this guy home. Uh, it's always hard picking the right piece of wood, but uh, if you look straight down the narrow, it's actually got that nice curve that you look for in shelf wood. So I think. Um, yeah, no, I, I do love that. I do have a little bit of wood envy because this guy's a lot harder than this wood, but it's a little, it's a little uh, hardware joke. We do that all the time. Don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> I need help cutting this. <laughs> um, well, I might just do it myself. So, uh... nah, just kidding. That's irresponsible, kids. <laughs> Turn the camera off, I'll do it real quick. I actually was just about to cut this bad boy and then I realized if I went straight down, it would cause ripping. So we have to find something else, unfortunately. And a, a guy that works here definitely didn't tell me that. Mm -hmm. So I noticed you're having a lot of trouble picking the uh, plank of wood that you need. Yeah. 
See, it's funny because the, the first time you picked wood, you really just uh, stuck with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. You really just picked the first one you saw and decided mm -hmm. to marry it? Yeah, yeah. Live your life with it? Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're picky with your wood. I mean, I'm learning to be more cautious based on my previous decisions, so let's... Keep walking away from me. <laughs> Keep going. I'm gonna go this way. One last stop, we're gonna try Target. Um, and I think the issue we're having is the fact that I've been planning for this video for a while So I've already got out of my way to buy all of the games that have stuff in them And now we're trying to find something on a blog after the fact But there has to be at least one more game I don't have that has something in it Oh, I think I spilled some If not, we're gonna have to resort to, um, you know planting things as you do so <laughs> not it's all the same there's a couple of games that are different but they don't mm. have anything I didn't check this one and nothing I mean as far as I can see so have you seen this before no what is this like a new system yeah I think so it's is like it the... play is it oh it's Nintendo yeah it's Nintendo's new Wii yeah I think it's the 4ds I don't think I want it I mean oh wait it has Fortnite hmm can I get one, uh, swatch, please? Why are you yelling? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit your knee? Yeah, well, we're keeping that one. Okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> this is all I found, and, um, this one doesn't even count, apparently, but it's fine, we'll add it to the pile. Okay, do you think that this now is enough? Uh, well, it's not, uh, it's not a lot, but, uh, it'll do. Coda Princess, I actually like this game a lot. It's a beat-em-up, something I never talk about on the channel. Comes with a mini CD. Which looks like you could probably play on your GameCube. It does, it looks, it, it kind of makes me want, it kind of makes me wish it was a GameCube game. Also, it comes with the instruction booklet, which, you know, these days, this is so cherished. Because Typically, it's one sheet of paper at this point. If you even get anything, yeah. you can actually reverse the cover art. So far, that's the best one, because it's the only one. Mm. So I Are guess, we gonna rate these yeah, I guess we'll rate them. Okay, we'll rate so, him. so he's number one by default. Let's do the one we found while we were out, Valkyria Chronicles 4. I really only grabbed this, I guess, because we're making this video, because I personally, myself, although the game is good, don't, I'm not gonna try and say anything there, but I personally am not going to put Joy-Con skins on my Joy-Con. It's really cool that it comes with it. Mm. I like the nice little pop pop that's on it with this cool little hat. I'm gonna put all the way yeah. over where you can't even see them on that camera because I just don't like decals, but it's something that comes yeah, with something. An art book, actually. It's not an instruction manual, it's an art book. And it's a beefy art book at oh. that. It's really thick. And it just nice. it's all the art from the game. And you know, usually, people will try and sell you special editions that'll most likely just be the game and an art book and right. maybe one other little trinket. So the fact that this one just, you know, comes with an art book. I, I thought that was really cool. Uh, wanna open one? Here, you can open that. I think there's something in that one. <laughs> okay. As I said, sometimes they just come with a piece of paper. Yeah, no, I mean, it's obviously some artwork and you flip it over as the mm. game would suggest. Uh, it kind of made me feel like there was gonna cards. be- Cards, yeah. Yeah, like cards. Like Pokemon card type. And I, I also thought two possibly, yeah, two? Yeah. but it's more just like a floppy piece of paper mm. with some pictures on it. Yeah. Put it here at the end of the table. <laughs> uh, this one comes with a lot. Salt and Sanctuary. Oh, yeah, it includes two-sided poster, adventures manual, and an original soundtrack download code. Also, there's there's artwork on the inside, um, and then you have the download code for the original soundtrack, and you can all see that code. So if you actually manage to pump that in before me, go for it. I would put that round about here. And once again, as you can expect from an iCalis game, we have the reversible cover. Mm. And there's a lot of boobies on that one. <laughs> so a might... lot of boob on the inside cover there. Probably I'm... where they flipped it. Yeah, I might ah. I might keep it this way. I'm not a I'm not a booby guy. I don't know what face you just made. It still comes with something. Early enemy design sketches. That was really loud. Mm. What? Um, I mean, it's still better than whatever flipping death had to offer. So I mean, we'll go like that. You for can now. never not. I'm gonna stack them up. Ooh! Oh! I was, I was like, okay. just an instruction manual, Number but... Number one, you got a pig in there. A <laughs> very adorable pig, potion. And a bootleg Kirby on the bottom. Dead cells. We have another art book. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. 
Let's just put it like here. And this reversible cover is actually really cool. Because mm. on one side you have, a, it, they're completely different art styles, mm. but it's like the same cover. So this one you have more of like the old school kind of Sega feeling, yeah, yeah. like like the, the oh, game that I threw over my shoulder feeling. Yeah, <laughs> but then on this side you have more of a, you know, yeah, an indie game sort of feel yeah. to it. More cartoony, more like not so 3D I rendered like looking. And then this is a really cool art book as well. It even has some um, comic book pages in here oh, okay. like it's got a little a little comic book oh we Soundtrack? have another mini uh -huh. cd let's see if this one is the full album or another sampler it's a sampler so it's, it's the same set well it's not it's still cool i don't laugh at it just, just because sample. don't laugh at it just because it's a little smaller than others um Ooh, scratch off to reveal characters that's new oh well that's so cool and that one's hey. it's a me there's a mario that's there cute. oh and shovel knight yeah. and uh the world's greatest roadie is that Brutal Legend? I think that's Brutal Legend. Oh, that's really cool. That's very unique. Oh, I Ooh, do not like that. You don't? No, do you? I like that a lot. I think that's oh. very cool. I like the other one more. I like that. No, I like that way more. That's I way don't cooler. Know. I think that It's not really bad. Cool. This reminds me of like Adventure Island. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't anything amazing. No, oh, oh wow. Actually, oh, oh. it has to be above the freaking. Oh no, do it the other way around because this is best to worst. I know, and that's so much worse. This is the one I ordered in that GameStop video, but this is what they sent. I know. It's gross. It's all sticky up here. It's got a hole in its jacket over here. Oh it's, the sticker is all like a missing poster. So it's it's just a poster yeah. you can hang up. First time on Switch anyway that I've seen it have a little poster inside you can hang up on your wall. I don't know why more don't have that. Cause you remember like with CDs. You remember CDs? I think I've heard of CDs. I still buy those, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually had a poster. Cause it'd be like the liner notes and then you mm -hmm. like unfold it. Mm -hmm. And you liked that, huh? Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, it's okay. got some stuff. And a receipt. That is adorable. I don't know what I would do with it though. I like that they burnt the edges. That's cute. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not straight cut. It's I like, like it's got chunks taken out of it. That's cute. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. There was a Switch game that had a manual that looked exactly like the original Legend of Zelda manual, and I believe it was Binding of Isaac, which Isaac. I guess I don't have. I really thought I did, but um, that would have been a good one to try and find. What? The Binding of Isaac. The Binding of Isaac. How did I say it? Maybe it's just Isaac. Binding of Binding of Isaac. <laughs> what am I saying wrong? What word? What word in that am I saying wrong? The Binding of Isaac. No, it's his name. It's just Isaac. Isaac. So the Binding of Isaac. Yeah. You don't like the way I'm saying Isaac. You are giving me the kind of crap the internet gives me every time I make a video and I say Labo. Apparently it's Labo, like laboratory, not like laboratory. But it's Labor Day, not Labor Day, so. Boom, internet. I don't know if that's necessarily a boom or just me not figuring out which word it is. <laughs> That's a very disappointing last. Uh, <laughs> so if you're out there right now thinking to yourself, I want to go and buy a new Switch game, and I do not care about what the game is. I don't. Uh, there's no genre I like any more than any other game, and I don't care if the game's even good. I only literally care what the game has in it. It is our official ranking that Monster Boy is your best choice because it has a pig sticker. That's the video, guys. I hope I edited it in a way that made it a lot more interesting than it feels. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you learned a little something, make sure you have flip. You gonna do it this time? Make sure you have flip all over that subscribe button. Click or tap on this video right here to watch something else. And again, guys, thank you so much for what you did. I am so proud of all of you, and I am excited to get back talking about video games.